Follow my instructions. I told you one. Oh, oh, hold on. I don't know. Is it good? Good lighting? And my mom always makes fun of me because she's like, you guys are too young to be worrying about your skin. I'm just like, sip soup. Oh, I messed up. Drink responsibly. What's up guys? It's your girl Mel here back with another video. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm looking straight at you and I know you haven't hit it. Hit it! I think that I have really narrowed it down and cracked the code doing your own in-home facial on yourself, on your family, on your friends. Shout out to my sister's boyfriend Jeremy for <laughs> being my little tester to do the facial on him because I didn't want guys to feel left out. I feel like when we talk about skincare, it's really geared towards women. It's not really geared toward men. So I wanted you guys to know that the products that I review and use in this video work well on men's skin on men's skin too so grab your tea grab your beer grab your wine i'm gonna be sitting down with you guys as you see me doing the facial and i'll be right here over in the little corner so get comfortable we're about to jump into this video let go you heard me and followed directions you would uh one you would have been and hit that subscribe button Two, you would have grabbed you a glass of wine or some coffee or a beer, whatever. And three, get comfortable because we about to get into this facial. Well, first, I use the Burst Bees Micellar Makeup Remover Towelettes. It's also good for removing um, just like dirt and germs from your face that you might have accumulated throughout the day. But I wouldn't recommend these. I'm going to put the little picture up here so you can see what they look like. I love Burst Bees products, but these weren't cutting it for me. They was a little dry. It might have just been the pack, but I don't want to try it out again <laughs> and find out that they're just naturally dry. Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Gel Foam Cleanser. Foaming Gel Cleanser. Got it. Got it. It's by Garnier. Again, I'll put the pictures up here so you can see what I'm talking about. I have been using the Garnier Micellar just products for about like over a year now. I love them. Not a paid sponsor, okay, for this video. I love their foaming gel cleanser. I can't say it enough. I really do feel like I get a deep, clean, especially over my nose. I feel like I have really big pores or maybe blackheads over my nose. You can even tell by the little, <laughs> by the little smile on his face. He's enjoying it. But he could be just like weirded out because the... It vibrates the Clarisonic Mia brush. It, I like it. just how you do cleanse the face. You put the uh, gel foaming cleanser on and you just really get a deep clean. So usually when I use it on myself, um, I'm using it to remove makeup. So whatever the makeup towelette didn't get off, this brush will because my bristles be showing all the brown makeup and stuff for real. Okay, so typically you'll get up and wash your face off if you're doing it for yourself, but of course he's my client. I didn't want to make him do anything. I just wanted him to relax. So I just got a warm towelette just to wipe off the residue from the cleanser, from the face wash. <laughs> Shout out to my... Shout out to my sister for recording this. So 
so now this is a new product that I've pretty much been using for the last month to two months. It's um, a pure sugar scrub by L'Oreal, and it, it's it's an exfoliant. L'Oreal pure scrub exfoliant, and it's in like. Let me see. I think I got it here. It's uh, I, it has like apple apples in it, and it even has like little apple seeds. It is not harsh to the skin because some exfoliants can really rip the skin. Not good for you. I have really been enjoying this. Like I said, it's only been maybe a month to two months that I've been using it. I only exfoliate maybe once a week because I do wear makeup throughout the week. Um, it smells just like green apples. So I recommend it. I do. You guys let me know if there's another exfoliant that you guys try, but I really do like it. So again, I go back with this, with the washcloth, a warm washcloth, just to get off the excess residue from the exfoliant. Oh yes, I think Jeremy all around has just good skin, but just watching it, it just already looks like it's glowing. I feel so legit with the gloves on. Okay. So I'm going in with a face mask now because you never want to put your face mask on dirty skin. So you want to make sure you cleanse it, especially with a facial. You want to make sure you cleanse your face. You want to make sure that it's super clean before you go in with the mask. Because most of the time, the mask is really supposed to do something like maybe brighten your skin, maybe cleanse your pores, maybe get the blackhead. So most masks has, it says a purpose. So I believe I went in with the Freeman mask, $1.49 at Walmart in the makeup section. And I believe this was an avocado mask and it was supposed to soften skin and help the glow. Not that I feel like Jeremy needed softer skin because his skin was actually pretty smooth, pretty soft. So again, I'm being pretty careful because I mean, he takes really good care of his beard and if I had like a beard kit to like go in and scrub his beard, I would have, but you know, I, I, I want to take no risk of messing up all that he has worked on. So I believe this mask you were supposed to leave off for 10 or 20 minutes. Secret, I didn't do that. Just for the purpose of the video, I didn't do that. I used the cucumbers just because cold cucumbers are supposed to reduce um, puffy eyeness, puffy eyes, and like dark, dark circles around your eyes. So cucumbers are always a nice touch. Now this is the part that I struggled with. When you do these type of masks that just aren't a peel off mask, you wash your face off, but of course, being my client, being my tester for this video, I didn't want him to get up and do anything, so I just used the washcloth, the warm towelette to get all of that off. I'm pretty sure my sister was in the background. Made him say, oh, you're losing your mustache, you're losing your hair. It ain't doing any of that. Any other time, I really would have been like, can you go wash your face? But for the sake of the video, people. So now I'm going in with the best product out of the whole video. It's First Aid of Beauty. Let me, I got it right here. Okay. Because like I said, these are the best. So. Facial Radiance Pads helps exfoliate, tone, and brighten. I use them mostly for just toner pads. Kind of on the pricey side, but completely worth it, I promise you. So after you take the face mask off, you do your toner pads, you're going to go in with your serums. If you spend any type of money on anything, it needs to be your serum. A lot of people are always spending a lot of money on their facial cleanser. The most expensive thing 
should be your serums. That and toners, because I did spend a little penny on the toner, but the serums, I'm going in with a Neutrogena serum. Um, it's was closer to 20 bucks. It's a Hydro Boost Hydrating Serum. Pretty much serums put back all the nutrients and vitamins that you've taken out of your skin. So think of as your serums as like your daily vitamin. So after the serum, I went in with um, Burt's Bees Facial Oil. Now that is just to make sure that my skin is super hydrated. Must be the line. After I use the facial oil, I went in with my jade roller and I keep my jade roller in the my makeup refrigerator in my bathroom. Because a lot of these products you can't keep in your refrigerator. And I'll tell you what products I keep in my refrigerator after this. So after you put on your oils, you really want to like, you want it to soak into your skin and that helps. Using the jade roller really helps. I got this jade roller from Amazon. And I go in with my night cream. And I do believe that this night cream by Burt's Bees, Burt's Bees releases some toxins. Good toxins, and it really like gets into your skin and helps you go to sleep. How did you feel after that facial? I feel good. My skin feels soft, rejuvenated. Was that your first facial? Yes. And what was your favorite part? Um, I might say the mask with the cucumbers. <laughs> Okay, good. Would you recommend it to somebody else? Oh, yeah, for sure. Do you think this is something that you guys could do, like, on your own? Oh, yeah. Okay. And, guys, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it to this facial video. My skin is pretty, pretty soft. Pretty, pretty. So, I don't know. This is my first facial video. If you guys have any questions, I will be happy to answer them below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to follow the AM show on Instagram. And follow my Instagram at Mel Cherie. Okay? So, have a good night, guys. I am going to bed. Good night. Drink responsibly. Okay? okay. Mom! tell you let me go in because i have the products here i'm sure you've already seen them while you were watching the video but first bees um, i wouldn't recommend these makeup removing palettes i just wouldn't the garnier skin active micellar foaming gel cleanser all in one rinse off highly recommended Definitely using the Clarisonic Mia Prima. Definitely recommended, but I recommend the Smart Mia Prima so you can get a charger with it. I mean, this comes with the USB uh, charger, but trying to find an outlet and a plug for it, it could just get, it's just annoying. Especially when you're doing a facial on someone else and you're like, ooh, wait till you feel this on your face and then bah, it doesn't work because it's dead. The L'Oreal Pure Scrub Exfoliant in like a uh, green apple. <sighs> Highly recommended as a good exfoliant. The brand Freeman uh, sold at Walmart. I recommend every single one of them. This isn't the one that I used on his face. This is a cosmic holograph peel off mask hydrating amethyst. Remember, this can get a little pricey. This is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. Pricey, worth it, okay? I would definitely get them. They come with 60 pads. I mean, for the price, you really can't beat that, but most people that haven't really got into a face care routine are just like, mm, I don't know if I want to drop that money on that. So I, I promise you, I would not steer you guys wrong. Again, all these products I use on my own face, mostly every night, okay? Definitely recommend that. The Neutrogena 
uh, hydrating boost hydrating serum again if you're gonna drop money on anything I'd rather it be your serums okay do your research see what serums are all about it puts the vitamins and the nutrients back into your skin and leaves your face feeling nice smooth and hydrated shoot Neutrogena need to sponsor me the way I'm talking <laughs> okay then you're gonna go in with your Burt's Bees complete nourishment facial oil i only use this at night it has a rose ship seed extract can't really tell you what that's for it might just be for the smell because it does smell really good and it actually comes in like as a teardropper okay i really love that i've had it for over a month now and you can see i still have pretty much a majority of the bottle left because you don't need that much two to three drops minimum after you put in your oils, you're going to go through with your cold jade roller. You can get a jade roller almost anywhere now. and But you got to be careful because if you get, go super cheap with the jade rollers, they will break. So I paid a decent amount. Not too cheap, not expensive. So I really like it because some jade rollers are just the top, the top wide uh, roller. But I like this because it has the bottom roller too, which are good for your eyes and around the nose so get you a jade roller that really helps the oils and pretty much everything that you've already put on your face really get into your skin burt's bees night cream intense hydration if you're not about to go to sleep i would just recommend putting on a, a daily moisturizer i typically use simply i can link that in the description below but burt's bees night cream intense hydration with clary sage again really don't know what clary sage is about and I still have a majority of this bottle left. When I first got it, I was like, I paid for this little, let's see how many ounces. For this 1.8 ounce bottle, like really? But you honestly, it really distributes well, so you don't need a whole bunch. So I definitely recommend the Bird's Bees Night Cream.